For wrestling fans, please welcome Mr. Bill Barron! I'll guess this is one of your best friends behind the scenes, Bill Barron. His resume Who? is as long as my arm. Who? Never heard of him. Who's he ever beat? Aside from Mike Rapata. Let's listen in. Bill How's Barron. everyone doing tonight? Those are nice padded seats down there. That's pretty good. Understand that's a good bargain too. Padded seats, if you haven't heard about this. Um, I hate when I have to come out and do things like this. Not that I have to introduce the, the next person coming out who's gonna have a tremendous match, but it has a little bit more to do with his partner. Well, rather than me go on and on, let me go ahead and have them come out right now. If you would, play their music. Well, this remains to be seen what's going on here as Bill Barron is, is going to make the internet. The good news is Market Cross is, is going to have a great match in just a moment. The bad news, as you can see, is that the machine, Griff Garrison, suffered a pretty bad injury, a break in his ankles, casted now. The cast is coming off, stitches are coming out. We hope he's going to be back in a couple of months, but his intent is to come back as soon as possible. Well, again, rather than me say it, Griff, why don't you let these people know why you're here and what you plan to do while you recover? Yeah, so um, it's been a rough couple weeks for me. March 31st, I, uh, as Bill said, I broke my foot. I thought that was going to be bad. I thought four to six weeks was the end of the world for me. But then I went to the doctor, and I got a call that night that they saw something like and so I went to the oncologist and they found a tumor in my foot that's eaten away more than half of the bone. So what they had to do on April 12th, I had surgery to remove that. And I had a bone graft put into my foot. That doesn't sound well. And the reason I'm here is because obviously I wanted to see all of the great Anarchy fans. There you go. And I wanted to come here and tell each and every one of you, I will be back in this ring sooner rather than later. And me and Marcus will be your Anarchy Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Griff Garrison, turn it back to you now. It's a pretty sobering news there. Griff That's a, it's a very Can serious medical Marcus condition. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good to see him here. Good to see him still coming out here though. He's still in the game, but yeah, just a matter of time. We're talking three months. That's that's a while. But he's 20 years old. He'll bounce back. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but it won't be a, the only injury of his career. Yeah, it might be the first, but it probably won't be the last. Now we get ready to, for the introduction for Cross's opponent. There he is. You will notice Kyle Matthews not wearing the nightmare mask. Is that hardcore hell? It was ripped off his face by Billy Buck. Yeah, in a most distasteful way, we'll say. And quite honestly, if you want to know the truth, I almost didn't recognize him when he was coming through the uh, ring entrance there without so, his mask. Yeah, we're so used to seeing him with that mask. And let's be clear, that mask, not only is it you know, a nod to his original trainer, Nightmare Ted Allen, but that was the actual mask 
given to him by Ted Allen. So it's not just that Billy Buck tore a mask, it's that Billy Buck tore the mask. Oh, it, absolutely, and it shows how low Billy Buck will go to win a title, to win a match, and he was victorious, but to rip the mask off, what an insult. Yeah, you know, we, we know most of the fans listening to this on Powerbomb probably are aware of the history of Lucha Libre and the significance of the masks, and really that's how Kyle treated this mask. It had so much significance to him because of who gave it to him and what Ted Allen meant to Kyle. But now we'll see what uh, Cross can do in singles competition. We've seen him and Garrison and most recently teaming up, teaming up where they had a non-title victory over the champions and now Cross finds himself in singles competition against former Heritage champion Kyle Matthews. Absolutely. And this should be a great matchup here. A great wrestling match is as both the athletes shook hands before this thing started. And I know love, Al Guest loves the, when that takes place. I, uh, I mean, why, why shake someone's hand when you can just as easily punch them in the throat? You're using the same hand. It's that, it's that easy. Fans, he'll be with us all show. The whole two hours, you have to look forward to And I just Al found Getz. out about it five minutes before I came out here, by the way. I'm, I've got no preparation, no notes, but I'm a professional. Dang it. Well, we've only been doing this 20 years, so. <laughs> well, but, I mean, I did. I started doing it 20 years ago, but I've retired like six times in between then, so yeah. there were several long gaps. Yeah, me and you both. <laughs> All right, here we go. Snapmare takeover by Cross. And look at Kyle Matthews. Just comes right out with an arm ringer. Nice fireman's carry into the arm bar. Yeah, Cross is definitely impressed with what he's been doing on the mat, but he's not doing anything that Kyle Matthews hasn't seen, not only seen before, but seen dozens of times before. And when you're against, you know, when you're in the ring against someone who has seen it all, look at this wow. unique variation going for a submission. And Cross, Cross though, realizes he's that close to the ropes, able to grab the ropes. Very good ring awareness by the youngster, which is something that the, the lesser experienced wrestlers don't always have. And this is the thing, Marcus Cross is going to learn a lot from this matchup. Whether he's victorious or not, it remains to be seen. But Kyle Matthews, the wrestling technician that he is, he is really going to uh, take Marcus Cross and give him everything he's got. Yeah, he's going to take him to school. And, and, you know, it might not matter for Cross, but it definitely matters for Kyle. I mean, he's coming off a title loss. He wants another opportunity to get that title back or maybe to be in line for other titles. So he needs a win really badly honestly at this point look at the flexibility of cross uh, with that bridge not allowing his shoulders to get pinned got a two count there and Instead, marcus yeah. cross obviously the younger of the two marcus cross 20 years old two count uh look, look kyle at, matthews on the other hand he's gonna retire in august is what he's saying yeah he's announced ahead of time that his final weekend of wrestling will be at the scenic city invitational which also is uh proud to be on powerbomb.tv uh, do, do I get like do I get like five cents every time I say Powerbomb.tv? I think your new contract's ten cents. Woohoo! All right, Powerbomb TV. We're getting Thank rich you. here, Al. I'm telling you, one dime at a time. Here we go, Cross, Matthews, eyeballing each other, trying to figure out what move to put on the other to score that pinfall. And this is one of the most clean wrestling matches I've seen in quite some time. Yeah, uh, quite the contrast from hardcore hell, which had some, you know, literal blood feuds being settled. Whoa, look at these kicks. Instead of put your hands up, uh, Marcus Cross is putting his feet up. A little MMA action there. Up and over goes Cross. Up and over sends our ringside photographer running for dear life. And now Cross going up top. Drop kick. What a drop kick. Hit Kyle right on the chin. Great aim, great contact. Going for the cover. Only a one count, though. Kyle Matthews out at one. Not going to give the kid much. Marcus Cross up and over one more time. Ducks that kick. Drop kick to the outside to keep your eye on Matthews. Yeah, Matthews now looking to get airborne. He's going cross country up and through the ropes. Big suicide dive to the outside as Cross just ate that ring barricade yeah, with I mean, his back. Yeah, not only do you have a you know a 200 pound or so man hitting you from the front, but you've got a metal barricade being jammed into your back. You're, you're, you're getting sandwiched in between two very rough things right there. And now Kyle going up top. Up top, big cross body, great finds the leg. We got two. He about cut cross in half with that suicide dive. 
If, that, if, if he actually cut him in half, would the match stop at that point, you think? Not a hardcore half. No? Okay. It would have continued. All right. But then do you have to pin both halves or just the one with the shoulders? Uh, and and then, all right, what halves. if he gets split, you know, left to right, right down the middle the other way? Then, you know, each, each half has one shoulder. What Big would happen chop. then? I'm having way too much fun here. Big chop. The crowd wanting one more. Bunch of savages here in Cornelia, Georgia. We're going to do it again. If you haven't seen Hardcore Hell, the 20th edition, I cannot recommend it enough. You've got to go to Powerbomb TV and check it out. It was three hours long, and it was great. It was awesome, and it had violence. It had wrestling, and it had some title changes. Yeah, and it had, it had it all. And you and I actually were commentating on the very first Hardcore Hell out of Silva, North Carolina. Was that 97? 97. 1997. That had uh, our, our good friends uh, Matt. Yes. Matt, Matt Hardy who was on that. What a clothesline by Matthews. Going for the cover here. Yeah, the first hardcore hell was uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy. Venom. Venom. Yep. Pun the Punisher, which was Bull Buchanan. Bull was Buchanan, there. yep. And Champagne. And of course, me and you. And me and you. Or, or you and I, as you know, people that actually speak good English would say. <laughs> and let's don't forget Rick Michaels. Rick Michaels and I are the creators of Hardcore Hell. We got a two count. Probably had Kit, Kit Cass was probably on that one too. Him and Rusty, Rick he Savage, Absolutely. David Young. Wow. Kyle what? just spit out his gum, I think. What a memory you have. That's when you know it's serious, when Kyle spits out his gum. It's like that's the equivalent of Lawler putting the strap down. <laughs> got a leg scissors here on Cross in an awkward situation. Yeah, but Cross pulled himself back and actually had Kyle's shoulders pinned for a two count. Back into that turnbuckle, like we talked about earlier, Cross is getting a wrestling lesson, let me tell you. Yeah, but he's he's actually holding up. Hard into that turnbuckle. He's holding up far better than I think a lot of fans thought at first. He's in the match. He's been in it the whole way. Now Kyle going for a cover, only a two count. A little bit of frustration, I think, uh, coming across the face of Kali. You know, we couldn't tell early. You could never really tell his expression. And that perhaps is a disadvantage now wrestling without the mask is that you're wearing your emotions on, on your face literally. Whereas in the past, you hid your emotions, you hid your frustration, and now it's right there for your opponent and the world to see. Cross up and over. Got to come off springboard. Moonsaw going for the cover. Could he get him here? Moonsault, moonsault body block didn't connect 100%, but got it enough to where he almost had Kyle down. Wow. Just as you think Kyle Matthews is in trouble. Just like that, it was almost over. Cross thought he had things going his way and charged in. Perhaps the youthful exuberance was a little too much at that point. Perhaps he should have been a little more calculating as Kyle seemed to be lying in wait, waiting for him. Matthews back up to the vertical base. We Wait. got a cage match later tonight, Steve. Oh, absolutely. Man. It's going to be violence to another it's level. Be bonkers. Up and over goes Cross. Ducks the clothesline. Caught him with that forearm. Make it a pair. Double chop. Oh, a little, little Kung Fu style, a little Shaolin style there from Marcus Cross. And now, shooting star. Two count, wow. Running shooting star press, only a two though. Again, it looks pretty, but it didn't qu quite connect with 100% force. Al Guess, are you surprised that Marcus Cross is held in here this long with the veteran Kyle Matthews? I, I definitely am, I, you know, I, nothing against him, but I, I didn't really think this was gonna be this competitive and this long of a match. Although right there, Kyle able to throw Cross off and now Law was rolling well, oh, set him up for that kick. What a kick it, it was, and we got two. But again, Cross kicking out. This kid doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Never say die attitude as Marcus Cross is taking a lesson here, but he will not quit. He will not go down to defeat easy, that is for sure. As Kyle Matthews back up to that vertical base, but he kind of looks a little winded, quite honestly. Yeah, he's a little winded. He's a little frustrated, too. Uh, you know, and, and I, I think given the emotional uh, speech and confession from Cross's partner, I, you know, Cross is maybe taking that to heart and trying to win one, not just for him, but for his fallen partner as well. Marcus Cross, I think, just holding on to his man to catch his breath. 
up and over. Yeah, it didn't quite land on his feet, but just enough that he's able to get up first. Tilt the world rolls around into a DDT. Man, Marcus Cross is all over him like a bad Crawling drink. over to make the cover. Could it be? Could it be? Two and a half. Wow. Well, it would be a huge victory for Cross. It would put him in line for a shot at the Heritage title. I, I thought he was going to roll him up. It said Kyle, though, changed his body, so he went chest first. But now he's got an ankle lock. And he has got that ankle lock deep, and Kyle Matthews is in a world of trouble. Yeah, and he's right in the middle of the ring, too. He's not. He's desperately reaching for the ropes, but they are not there. Oh, I almost, almost tapped right there. Finally, he's, he's, looks like he's crawled just enough to grab onto that rope. Darrell Hall, the referee, calling for the break. Marcus Cross, he sensed that in deep. He gave it everything he had to get him to tap, and he wouldn't. Kyle Matthews in trouble here on the ring apron. Here yeah, comes Cross. He's trying to buy himself some time. Cross comes charging in. Watch Matthews going up top. You know, he's a wrestling technician, but he's a daredevil too. He will use that top rope yeah, he is. And to now, his advantage. Both men up top. Cross on the second rope. This is going to be interesting. Kyle Cross pushes him off. Way. Up, over. Could it be? We got two. No, sir. That's another two and a half plus count made by Daryl Hall and Kyle. Now, Kyle now is in trouble. I, I will say, it, you know, he's, I will say this was a back and forth match, but now I'm going to say Marcus Cross has the advantage, but I don't know what he's waiting for. Yeah, he needs, he needs to get to, up and get something going now. He needs to get up and kick Kyle Matthews right in the, in the nose. Kyle Matthews what looks I would winded. And Marcus Cross was sitting there buying some time, but I think he wasted his shot, his opportunity. We got the bridge. Yeah, roll up with the bridge. bridge. Just like that, Kyle Matthews pulling victory roll from the, the jaws match. of defeat. Kyle And that's Matthews. that's what a ring veteran does. Just when you think Absolutely. things are going one way, just like that, Kyle Matthews gets the victory. But a great showing by both men, but a great showing in particular by the youngster, Marcus Cross. Marcus Cross, I guess what you say, Marcus Cross made a rookie uh, move there when he was buying time for himself. I, you know, I think his advantage was his uh, his stamina, his youth, his speed, and at the one time he needed it most, he was unable to use it. The veteran Kyle Matthews victorious here as Marcus Cross goes down to defeat. Marcus Cross has learned a lot here tonight as these fans recognize what a wrestling match it really was. And we had one hell of a wrestling match here as Kyle Matthews puts the hand out and Marcus Cross is glad to shake the veteran's hand as he has learned some lessons here tonight about professional wrestling. Anarchy Wrestling rolls on right after this timeout. Hey, hey, Marcus. You guys give it up for Marcus Cross. Sit down, Al. Giving him a standing ovation. The future ovation. of Anarchy Wrestling is right there. You guys get used to it. He's awesome. Give him a hand. What a compliment. Now, on to Billy Buck. Yeah. Billy Buck, at Hardcore Hell, you took two things from me. Number one, you took the mask that Ted Allen gave me, and that I can't do anything about. Number two, you took the Heritage title. That I can do something about. My last match at Anarchy Wrestling is at Hostile Environment, and I'm cashing in my rematch for Hostile Environment. Wow. Billy, a few months ago, I promised these people I'd retire Landmark Heritage Champion, and I promise you, I will do that. Thank you guys, have a good night. Al Matthews making a big promise to these fans. Yeah. He will deliver. 